Hey, man. Hey. You looped? Yeah, all right. Here's how you know. Three warning signs of being looped and playing life a little too safe. Hey, what's up, team? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology. I help people find their true character and master the skills and strengths they need to play life better. In this video, we're going to talk about loops and <laughs> get into some of the some of the little finer details of it. But I want to give you some practical advice and and tips on finding out if you are looped and then breaking out of that. Being looped means that you are stuck in the same orientation, the same mindset, the same introverted or extroverted nature that you naturally are in. And you're not getting feedback from the outer world if you're an introvert, or you're not tapping into who you are in, in the inner world feedback and resources that you have if you're an extrovert. So it's just constantly looping through that, hence the name, and it's it's not letting you access the resources that you need and listen to the other characters, the other voices, the, the different aspects of yourself, the different parts within yourself that you need to solve your problems. And a lot of times this comes through a uh, kind of a fearful state. Like you're afraid of, as an introvert, you're afraid of getting feedback from the outer world because that's going to give you some information that's going to possibly... Uh, shake up what you understand reality to be. And for an extrovert, you're afraid of getting feedback from the inner world because it might show you some things that you don't really want to see about yourself. Some aspects of yourself that you're just not possibly ready to, to take in and to notice and to then change or appreciate. So being looped just keeps you doing the same thing and and stops you from getting access to that other um, scarier side of things. So the first way of knowing, the first sign that you might be looped is if you are constantly blaming the world for what's happening. Um, <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt said, if you could kick the person in the pants responsible for most of your trouble, you wouldn't sit for a month. <laughs> it's just funny little quote because yes you are i'm sorry but you are responsible for your life we all are and if you're looped it means that you're not accessing that other way of understanding or making decisions that is going to help you so you don't blame the world and, and give you the the power the empowering abilities leveling up yourself you know use utilizing your strengths you know if you're just constantly blaming all of your problems on everybody else that's you not using your problem-solving resources also you do what's comfortable despite knowing that you shouldn't <laughs> like knowing that this is not really going to solve my problem but I'm gonna do it anyway you know that is a sign for me from my personal experience of being looped um, you're for an introvert it's like you're not taking action and you're over reflecting, over analyzing too much. It's, it's combining introverted perceiving, this kind of protector like energy that's there to stop bad experiences or bad uh, juju from coming in. Okay. And you're combining that with the introverted judging specialist that's refining what you should do, right? making decisions based on your subjective self, your identity, your convictions your knowing of what is true um, but it's it's just constantly looping through there and it's reflecting instead of taking action right you know you need to take actions to impact the world you know if if the situation is bad you got to do something about it you can't just analyze it right problems are not solved all in your head you got to do stuff about it too you got to take some actions you have to find a way of impacting the world and when you're looped it's it's scary you don't want to do that you know and just in general it's scary you don't want to do that as an introvert but when you're looped you're going to hear that voice over and over again from your tertiary function saying no it's 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 not you it's the world if they just understood 
more, then things would be better. But you're not the one to teach them that. They got to figure that out. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's that advice that's always going to appease you, to keep you playing small, to keep you safe. If you're an extrovert, it's, it's the opposite, as you would imagine. It's taking too much action without reflection. It's tapping into that extroverted perceiving desire to gather more and more information, that kind of vanguard, frontline, explorer, adventurer energy, and also combining that with extroverted judging, so making decisions to um, have influence over the world. Right? It's the controller type characters. So if you're combining exploring and taking action to control, then you're not actually reflecting over who you are and what your um, actual impact is on the situation. You're not accepting um, your impact and how your actions have created the situation. Does that make sense? It's, it's staying outward instead of going inward. And the last one is autopilot drive. <laughs> you just do it and you don't think about it. This is probably one of the the sneakiest ones because it's it's that stealth rogue that's back there and you just you don't even notice it until it's too late. Like when you wake up in three, five years and you're like, I've been on autopilot this whole time. I haven't done anything to change my life, to impact the world in the way that I want to, right? I haven't learned from my past experiences or whatever it is. And I think the only way to really know about this one is to just keep inspecting yourself and, and take notes. That's what I do is, is to note every day what I've done. And hopefully some of that information is going to get in there. It's going to seep in and I'll know, you know, what I have fallen asleep to perhaps and what I'm not actually changing despite knowing that I, I do need to. So knowing this, what you're going to want to do is, is one, stop blaming. Don't blame anybody else except for yourself for the situation. If you're watching this YouTube video, like you have, you have the freedom to do things with your life that a lot of people don't have. So stop blaming and take responsibility for your life and what's going on. And if you know, if you need the skills, then you go out there and you find a way to grow those skills. If you're struggling with something, deal with it, like find a way to deal with it. Don't just keep showing up and hoping that it'll change. Right? Also, you need to break free, break free from the loop. So, you know, you do need to have awareness of it. Nothing's going to save you if you don't have awareness of it, right? That's the first point. But when you do, when you get that little, little voice in your head that just says, hey, are we okay here? Use the STOP acronym from CBT, uh, Cognitive Behavior Therapy. S is for STOP literally stop T take a breath observe the situation and then proceed I know I know everything's you know easier said than done but doing this when you have that realization force yourself to stop stop take a breath regain your stability go back into yourself your good states observe the situation logically whatever it is, whatever the, the best way for you to do it is. And, and check in with yourself and like, is this really what I want to do here? Is this really what's going on? Is this person actually making me upset? No, I'm taking in their actions and reflecting over them in a way that's bringing out a negative meaning. And then P, proceed. Do what you got to do to to be the hero of your life story you know take the actions that you know you need to take and the last one get perspective this is this was, uh, it's kind of a difficult one here but ask yourself what am i really afraid of right now and sit with it like i when i get looped i'm afraid of putting myself out there i'm afraid of visibility of who i am i'm afraid of um looking crazy or some innovation that I do, some thing that I create, some idea that I share is actually going to show the world that I'm not a good person, that I'm, you know, whatever. I, I don't even know that I don't even know 
is something that I'm afraid of. So I loop back into introverted sensing and say, well, I, if I just play within this box here, then things are going to be okay. But really, it's not. Like, you're not going to impact the world. You're not going to change the world. You're not going to grow and be a bigger um, force within the world if you play it small. If you listen to that tertiary function in a, a way that just keeps you safe. So to sum it all up, I just want to say, like, make it a part of your identity. Make it a part of who you are to challenge your dragons, whether they be the inner dragons, a lot of times for extroverts, or the outer dragons for the introverts a lot of times. Um, you know, assign that as, as who you are. That's a trait of who you are. I'm going to not play small. I'm going to combat these things so that I can be a better person. I hope it helped. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know down below also um, what you think about airplanes. And <laughs> keep up the lifelong quest and good luck. Have fun. Peace.